Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and I have a review for you. This is the Quetzal Coatless Plain Ambush. It has 306 pieces and retails for $40. So I forgot to add in this dino here, which is an important part of the set. This might be the worst minifigure selection of any of these sets. We have the same Owen that comes in a few other sets, really bland and generic. This Claire appears in other sets, don't have her though, so that's great. There's her alternate face. I like the teal color. And here is Owen's alternate face. You, you've seen this many times probably. And then here's Kayla Watts. Alright, looking good. Except for this, this hairpiece. They create so many new molds for dinos just for this wave. And they can't color this black with the nougat at the end. They can't they can't make two colors for a hairpiece. Alright. Alter face there. Really I just how how could they mess it up that badly? This just looks a bit out of place with that and my god like just just color it black with nougat at the end doing two colors for a hair piece won't kill you lego just just do it probably why most people buy these sets is for the dinosaurs and this one is no different this is the quetzal coatless uh probably pronounced that wrong but you can open the beak opens up very wide actually I love the head, there's some feathers on it. But the wings can flap, of course, but they can also do all this weird stuff. Like, yeah, this this is good. You can articulate in so many ways. You can fit up to three minifigures, actually, on the main body. Um, let me just do that quickly here. Yeah, that that's cool. Um, one thing I don't like is that when it lands, it can only look upward. It can't look downward at minifigures. It's just forced to fly around infinitely, can never land. Poor thing. But I love this dino. You can pick it up like this, swish it around. It's all good. This plane is pretty good. I really like the shape of it. It's something we've never seen before. And also, I, I would just like to point out, how can this bird catch up to a plane? These things fly at like 300 miles per hour, and this bird is just able to catch up to it. How? Freaking how? But whatever, you could spin the propellers. It's got some nice colors on it. Um... Don't even ask me why there's a yellow skin minifigure on a set with realistic skin tones. But let's take a look at the inside of this. There's a pilot seat. And some people are like, I've seen a lot of reviews just doing this where they're like, you can only fit one minifigure back here. The back of the box clearly shows that a minifigure is not supposed to go like this. You can if you want to, but they're not supposed to go like this. You are supposed to take a minifigure. If I could if I can get out of there, Owen. Hold on. You're supposed to take a minifigure, put them in like this, and the second minifigure, and put them in like this. I'm tired of people saying that you can only put one, two minifigures in there. No, you can very, very clearly fit three. They fit in there just fine. Like, please stop saying that just one minifigure can fit behind your facing forward. No, I'm just... I know it's people probably just missing something on the box or whatever. But no, you can very clearly fit three... And it's just for some reason bugged me because so many reviewers are just saying you can only fit two back here. 
are up here and I'm just like, no, you can fit three. You can fit three. Now back here, there's some storage space and you can fit a little accessory, some accessories back here, or you can fit minifigures in here, but they'll probably just slide around. But another set has actually given us the ability to fit a motorcycle in here. And that is fantastic. You can fit this motorcycle back here. It fits in there pretty much perfectly and they can close up and you can fly it away. That's great. One thing also I would love to point out, this is great. Um, take the bird. It can actually fit its beak in here. Its head can go in pretty far and you can even get the beak. You could see it moving around up here. That would make a pretty great action scene with your Lego sets. Like just, just get the bird to stick his head in here and wiggle about it so close to minifigures. That would be great. That's fantastic. Um, but it does have one more feature. You can actually sustain damage to the vehicle. Um, so they allow you to take the wheels off and the propellers and this thing can be taken out of the sky just like in the movie from what i've seen um yeah it's not always consistent sometimes you get an axle pin stuck like this but this is that's pretty great the uh selection for spare parts is not very interesting you get some tires and uh empty sticker sheet there weren't that many that's about it now well do i think this is worth it well yes actually now looking at it more closely i do think this is quite worth the price this animal is great just wish it had a joint at the neck so that it could look down when it lands that would be fantastic um this plane it couldn't be better I can fit everything I want in here. And then some great spacing. Just looks nice. Um, you get some extra little accessories to help fix up the plane. Whatever. It's a good plane. And it's very unique and creative. Just not it's not just another flying vehicle. I like the look of it. It, it, it's just pretty much perfect. I just think this hat should have had a joint in the neck. But other than that, $40. Not bad, actually. Um, I do get, I, I do understand. New animal, new parts. It's big. Yeah. Uh, this is also far bigger than the Pteranodon. Far bigger. So, yeah, I love it. It's pretty good. They could have fixed up the minifigure selection. I think now that I'm thinking about it, there are more flaws, but yeah, um, just, just give us something more interesting, really, for the minifigures and fix Kayla's hair. They aren't going to do that, but really, is it so hard to just give her a black hair and just color it nougat at the end, like, it's not that hard. It's not It's not too hard. It's not too much of an expense, and they definitely could have spared it. But with that being said, I like this set. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. And I'll be back again soon to bring you another video. Like, comment, subscribe. And, well, tell me what you think. Bye.